Hello and welcome to another tutorial for the Eriforsu plugin. In this tutorial I will show you how to divide a face into a grid of faces. In this city model we have a few buildings that share these green areas. You can see the north direction is marked by the yellow line over here. If we try to calculate the solar irradiance for these areas now we would get very general and not accurate result because it will not display the distribution of the irradiance over the face. Here is the calculation. I'm calculating the irradiance over this face and I get a general result. I can use the legend button to see how much irradiance I got over this face but it does not give me the distribution of the irradiance over the face. For that I'm using a solar irradiance calculator feature this is called the split and divide the face to a grid of faces. This will increase the calculation resolution, but also the calculation time. I'm using the solar irradiance calculator feature to divide the selected faces such that the maximum face area will not exceed a certain amount. I'm checking the area of the selected face. My first estimate is that I will use about 100 square meters faces in my grid. After I click apply, I get a grid of faces over my previous face. I'm clicking reset and then calculate again. Please see the progress bar below. This time the calculation will show me the distribution of the irradiance. Another example, I'm choosing this face. I will try to calculate the irradiance for it. Here nothing happened, the face remained blue. This is because the face is upside down. Every face in SketchUp has two sides. What I can do is right click and select reverse faces or I can use the feature in the solar irradiance calculator to mark selected faces. This will also reverse the face. Now let me try again. Reset and calculate. Okay, I got. Now we got our irradiance result, but it still does not show the distribution of the solar irradiance over the face. For that, we will divide this face again. This time, I will start with 200 square meters. Now let's calculate. Reset, calculate. This action can take some time depending on the size of the area and the number of buildings that are surrounding them. This is why we try to start with a higher value first and we find the areas where we need. But now let's enhance part of it. I'm selecting some of the faces. And I will split these faces maybe to 100 square meters. And I will run the simulation again. In this way I can refine the simulation every time. I can further enhance on that area for example. Choose 50. Run the simulation again. You can see that I got different values every, everywhere. You can see that some of the colors do not match. 
because every time we calculate, the calculation is performed on the selected faces only, and the colors are normalized according to the selected faces. Select the values and apply, and it will normalize all the selected faces in one, into one color. Now you can see that the, the colors Now you can see how we get several degrees of refining the distribution of solar irradiance. Another way of going about it is using the split selected faces button, which only split the selected faces in half, rather than splitting the faces in, into a certain threshold. From the calculator, I use the split selected faces button. I select the face. I can split, split, and split again. This is how you split a face into a grid of faces. As always, thank you for watching and happy modeling.